this that I'll go on, that's the one. Right. So Horace. There he is. Stood over here. He has been our in contact with Klingon intelligence on planet. <laughs> Can you hear this? I'm, it seems quiet to me. Let's just... How's that sound? course it now vanishes off because uh, it's not live on the th right I'm gonna have to trust that somebody will pipe up if uh, uh, if the music is, uh, or if it's the sound is too loud. Um, right. Okay. So let's actually pick up our mission. You want information? When you first beat down here, well, I wasn't so sure about you, but after what you did to the song, <laughs> yeah, you have some skills. So some reason escape with the triggers. Oh, tough brain. I bet he's out of the sector by now. But if there's one man on this rock who know where to go next, it's Maw. He can help you bring an end to all of this. Then we can all celebrate with some drinks at the bar. Okay, I'm on it. Do you want information? <laughs> so we need to talk to... Talk to uh, Law. Law was com uh, a local contact that we uh, were speaking to in the last play session, and he can be contacted through this console. You find a note written by Law to Darg. The Gorn that served Hassan have taken notice of you. With Hassan out of the picture, they're making a move to show their strength. They're sending a man to kill you, but I've decided to kill him, uh, to, to take him myself. I need to do this. I've lived in uh, the life of a coward and not the life of a Romulan. The Gorn will most uh, likely kill me, but at least I will die taking the stand that I ran away from two years ago. I hope that you are the person you seem to be. If you are, you'll continue to help the people here after I'm gone. Law. That was weird. I think Star Trek Online is obviously a multi, m massively multiplayer uh, online game, and I, we were getting some gunfight music, sorry, music sounds uh, that were not from the cutscene that we've just seen. Uh, I think they must have just had a, sh a, sh a showdown just outside uh, that we did take part in ourselves last week. Right, so did he survive? <coughs> now this is embarrassing. I leave a death note behind and you find me alive. Yes, the situation isn't as bleak as I thought it was. You've got that look about you though. One that says you need information. What can I do for you? Explain the situation with the Talshiar. If they're anywhere on Nimbus, they're 
probably using the satellite stations to the south. Hassan used them to stay in contact with the Orion Syndicate without the risk of anyone intercepting his transmissions. I think that's how he coordinated his last attack. The Tal Shar could probably do Hello, the same thing. Bonies. But that area is the territory of the Pack of Gorn Separatists. They don't like anyone who's not a Yeah. Person. That will make it harder, but not impossible. You were just here at uh, Nimbus, were you? Well, I'm glad that you're able to to, to drop in. Um, right. So he's told us to go and look at uh, an area to the south. Um, the Talshar that's being referred to is an Orion. That's uh, not the Orion. The Romulan's um, intelligence service um, that. Uh, has been causing problems for the Klingon Empire. Right, okay, so... Your best bet is to go to the canyon, disable the exterior satellite cables, gather the satellite codes from the Gorn, and then hack the main satellite. That will cut the Tal Shar on Nimbus off from their support. The canyon entrance has a giant rock arch over it. There are a couple of paths down from the upper rim to the bottom, Meantime, I'm going to take stock of what I have here for some plans of my own. Right. Okay. So we now know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, you, you're right. There was a, a gunfight. The Orion uh, showdown was going on outside. Uh, fairly confident of that. Um, and yes, it's a fantastic way of getting uh, purple and blue quality, mostly purple quality. Um, um, uh, duty officers though I have had some green ones out of him um, uh, but mostly they are purple the more you farm the lower the quality seems to be or the the average it's almost as though he's got a pool of 50 whatever it is I don't think it's 50 but let's say let's say 50 purple and then um, uh, he, he, when you start getting low on them he starts topping up the pool with blues and then six or seven yeah yeah when you get to perhaps 15 to 20 then you might start getting blues but they are worth having they are worth having even if they are random uh, uh, types anyway let's get on with the mission is the sound level okay, um, uh, Fuzzy Bunnies? Because uh, it seemed very quiet to me, so I've upped the sound within the game, uh, and I'm just worried that I'm deafening you guys with uh, uh, with game sound and brilliant. Okay, thank you. That's a, a relief to know, particularly from a s fellow streamer. Actually, oh, let's actually do that. I thought I'd done that. Go give Fuzzy Bunnies a follow. It is well worth it. Um, if you click on the link, then uh, you don't even leave my channel to do it. Please do give Fuzzy, uh, Fuzzy Bunnies uh, a follow. Um, I've been in his chat a few times uh, but yeah it's good. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the clear. And again please if you aren't following me I'd appreciate the follow. Uh, it is free as the uh, message has just said. And it's free to follow fuzzy bunnies. Right, so back out of here. I'm not sure I've done this with a Klingon, uh, but I've certainly done it with my uh, Federation tunes.
There's my team. One of them's just a bit behind, Valera. So here's the canyon that Law told us about. So they're going to set up a relay system to protect the network. We have to disable the three consoles on the way down to have a chance to override the main one. Okay. I'd love to know the uh, in-game world logic of what, uh, of how that uh, gentleman found out that information to tell me. I'd love to know that. So that's console one disabled. No guards at the moment. There's some guards down there. Disable this console. Oh, no, they're not. It's another team of, uh, uh, of adventurers. Uh, Klingons in particular. Disable this console. So that's the three. Contact the Gorn within the canyon. A member of the K uh, Klingon Empire, are you here to enslave us like you did the rest of our brethren? We will not bow knee to you ever. We are free and we will die or kill to remain so. <laughs> You're you are slaves to the Orion Syndicate and the Tel Shiar. That's not freedom. We're slaves to no one. We choose to work with the Tel Shiar and the Orions because they can help us uh, give new life to the Gorn Hegemi. Our task may not be glorious, but it will lead to a brighter future. The Gorn that toil uh, for the Klingons cannot say the same. You're a slave to the past. The Gorn Hegemi is dead. Enough talking. Face us or run like the coward you are. Ooh. Fighting talk. Right. Looks like this instance of has been cleared out. Oh, there we go. We've got some Gorn now appearing. Right, the Gorn systems have additional protection from an encrypted lockout code. We could bypass it, but we run the risk of sending the system into high alert. We need to take try the direct approach. If we manually sever some of the cables, give us time to work on the bypass without setting off the alert system. Give us a better chance of success. We need to recover security codes from the Gorn in the canyon. Oh, we're being shot at. Let's go and Thin them out. Don't like people shooting at me. Exit one gone. And there's a code. Oh, perhaps. Nope. got six of the ten codes that we need. We'll sever the cable. Uh, there's another location. And I can see that there's some gorn up there that's beamed in. Thank you for nicking my flipping gourd.
these federation you can't trust them always getting in the way always trying to hog the glory all right there's some more gone we're all right Right, so we've got the codes and we've done the... So on to the main satellite station. Is, seems to be a bit popular. Uh, I've got no idea if they're global or continent. Um, the chat here is all, all, all seems to be English language, most, or mostly seems to be English language, but that doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, oh, I wouldn't. Right, so the numbers basically double up to uh, the next one. That's how the numbers are. Sorry, I should have showed, uh, should have uh, explained through the logic of the answers that I was giving there. Right, so we have hacked in here with the codes and we've been granted uh, access with communication subroutines suspended, security overrides accepted access to the perimeter granted uplink location right so we've located the uh, the base of uh, the Tel Shiar so we need to find get through there as well they're not Thinking about it, the instances are global in the sense that uh, I'm regularly talking to, uh, in chat to people who um, are from the States and from uh, other parts of Asia and uh, Australasia. Um, I'm not aware too often of chatting to too, other, too many Europeans uh, that that identify in chat as U uh, European but often we wind up uh, having people ch identifying in chat as Americans uh, particularly Americans so yeah they, are, they must be global instances so we've supposedly this console has unlocked the access to the base Obviously, they think the Gorn are protecting it. Um, well, I think what happens is one of the uh, one of the 
instances fills, they trigger a sec another instance, and that they can't close that instance down until uh, all everybody leaves it, um, and you wind up then having. Well, I was on an instance earlier with two players here on Nimbus, um, so I think that's how it happens. No, we don't want to trans. Actually, it would make more sense to transfer to a smaller one. Um, so yeah, that's how I think that it divvies up. Right, so we've transferred slightly, uh, a bit, slight change from where we were, but realistically, it's neither here nor there. Right. Almost ready for another plasma torpedo grenade there. Plasma torpedo, plasma grenade. <laughs> Oi! Defeat the Tel Shiar. Okay, so let's get up there and by killing those worms, which we had to do for getting here. Um, if you kill enough of them, this boss triggers. Now the boss hasn't appeared yet but you've got the henchman which you've got to clear the henchman first. Right. Presume you've cleared these uh, before Fuzzy. So Right, so that's this side. We now got to clear. That. Can you hear me? You survived the gorn. Get lost. Talk to you in a bit, go uh, got lost. Right, there's the boss now spawning in. Here. Ah, come on. Hey! And of course the other worms respawn. Sorry, they come up from underground. And say so if you now go and kill enough of those, then you'll trigger that fight. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly what happens, Fuzzy. Right, okay, so... Can you hear me? You survived the Gorn and found Hakib's base. I'm well and truly impressed. I've been thinking about something. There isn't anything left for me here on Nimbus. With your permission, I'd like to join your crew and help you stop Hakib once and for all. Right, he wants to join the crew. Well, we don't have any Romulans on board, but uh, uh, we've got other races, so why not a Romulan? Yeah. Congratulations. 